Good evening, YouTube. Good morning. Good night. Wherever you are. Next Gen Gamer here. And today I'll be going over how to cheat in EPSXE 1.90. And this should work for generally every EPSXE version um, up to 1.3. Uh, so if you have older version beyond 1.3, it may not work because the uh, cheats or cheaters I'm going to be using or cheat tools I'm going to be using is the PSX emulation cheater as well as the uh, cheat engine. So we all know what cheat engine is and we all know that it can be kind of a beast to master. No worries though, we're going to be going over a few things today. I'm not going to go into the, the, the details of coding and how to make your own cheat table. Uh, that I would leave to the forums. So visit, uh, you know, cheatengine.com or Google, being your best friend, of course, as I always say. Don't be foolish. Definitely use Google to find more information on uh, cheat tables and things of that nature. Either way, moving on. Uh, today we'll be going over. I have a few games in here. Vanguard Bandits. If you haven't played that game, please play it. Please play it. This game basically started the. Um, strategy RPGs like literally I would say started it at least on a good note anyway because this came out before tactics so either way I'm not going to be doing that I'm going to be looking at Final Fantasy Tactics for PlayStation 1 made by Squaresoft before Square Enix um, or before Enix joined with Square uh, in my opinion um, they're both great companies, both Enix and Square. It was a great union, and uh, they continue to make awesome games, as we all know. Um, Pre-order for Final Fantasy 15 right here. Holla. No, anyway. Uh, so moving on. Uh, I've already been playing quite a bit. Uh, I haven't cheated my level or anything like that or jobs. Uh, there is the ability to do that, and I'll show you how to do it in this uh, video today. Um, I've basically been unlocking jobs um, by leveling up. Um, certain classes, but I've been mastering every single job. Now there are some cheats online uh, that use cheats from the game that you can um, you can do some weird thing with buttons and and instantly master everything, but it doesn't work always. Um, so I've been using Cheat Engine. Uh, cheat Engine is a lot easier to use to to master a lot of the information um, or master a lot of the uh, jobs. So I'll go over that. And what code generally is the one you'll use to find the um, the level. Uh, secondly, PCSX emulation cheater. This requires that you use a one second. This requires that you use a video setting. Um, let me. Uh, I need to. I need to stop the game. Uh, I gotta exit out of it. Give me one moment here. I clicked the wrong thing. All right, there we go. So this requires that in your video settings, as you saw here, under config, and then under video, that you use PCSX Emulation Cheater 2.5 as your uh, video driver or video plugin. Excuse me. Um, it works just as well as uh, as the uh, Zen OpenGL. Um, I would say the the Pete OpenGL is a little better. And the Pete's DX uh, DX6 is a lot better as well. Those are some of the original ones you'll probably use. I think it comes stock with um, I think it comes just comes stock with Pete's when you first install it. So just change it to PCSX Emulation Cheater 2.5 if you want to use um, obviously if you want to use this the PCSX Emulation Cheater or PSXEC, which is I'm going to be referring to it as for the rest of the video. Um, so moving on. So we have. PCSX Emulation Cheater or PCSX EC Open. In order to use it, you have to make sure uh, of two things. I like to enable logs just so I can see this screen here, which tells me what's going on in uh, EPSX. If there's any errors or if any codes are going to freak the game up or anything like that, don't be foolish and don't ruin your save file. Make sure you back up all the information before you do hand, or before you do hand, before you do hand, uh, before you do so. I like to uh, auto load the PPF files. Uh, PPF files are files the game uses to run properly. I'm not going to go into detail. Again, use Google, your best friend. Cheat codes. Uh, you don't need to do anything in here at all. And to be quite honest, I don't even understand what in the hell this does uh, because you can't you can't edit anything in here. So I, I really don't know. I really don't know its purpose. Um, so 
ignore that. Nothing needs to be turned on in here specifically. Um, enable logs and uh, the, the auto load PPF files is just a preference. So again, but another thing too is don't have EPSX E open when you're using uh, PSX EC. And the reason why is because it needs to load the drivers before the game even starts or before the emulator, e emulator even starts. So make sure this is open first with uh, EPSXE not open. Choose your game. It has a huge list of games. You can add the games in here if you want. It uses the codec from, uh, from uh, Codebreakers. So uh, pretty much Codebreakers is what you'll be using to add new codes. Uh, it doesn't use uh, Action Replay. Or, and it does use um, GameShark as well. Excuse me. So it's Codebreaker and GameShark. Those are the two codes that it accepts. For PAL and Japan versions, I'm sorry guys, I don't know what the hell it uses. I'm pretty sure it's probably the same. Um, but for now, for everyone in US and Canada, we're going to use US and Canada. So what you'll do is you can find the list by scrolling through this massive list. Or what you can simply do is just type in the name. For example, Final, uh, final Ass. There it is. So Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, some of the codes are not as, uh, not as cool that are already loaded in here. Um, they have like class modifiers, um, infinite gill, 65535 gill, which I believe is like an inside joke. I'm not sure. I, I, I read somewhere on the forum that it's like an inside joke. Like it's like a code for saying cheater in code language. I don't know. But um, I don't know, whatever. But the class modifiers, this number is based upon the place that the person's in. So I think there's, uh, I think it tells us right here. Hold on. I'm going to try to get it to, there's no notes. Either way, um, this references what place your party members are in. Um, you can't move your party members number or place. So you have to kind of piggyback off or write down who's in what place. So obviously your your characters first, and um, let me give you an example here. I don't feel like I don't feel like running the game. So for example, this is this is what I'm, this is what I'm talking about here. Um, all right. So for example. This would be hero place. This would be second position, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and so on and so forth. And you can change it by number as well. So that's that's how how it how it does it, and that's how it's listed here. So up to you can have up to 16 players within your your guild or party or where, whatever have you. Uh, either way, moving on to the class a hero class modifier. Uh, they have a lot of strange jobs in here. Some of these don't actually work properly. For example, holy dragon. Uh, great Holy Angel. The ones with the question marks really are the ones that are kind of weird. Um, they, I mean, they turn you into a class, but it's just the weirdest shit. For example, Holy Dragon. We'll do that one simply because um, I want you to be able to see the code and see that it's actually working. So I'll, I'll let you see what that is. So once you selected it, and you, you and you do that by double clicking here and then choosing whatever the hell you want in here. After you selected it, send cheats to plugin. Says you okay, great. Now start your emulation, uh, your emulator, and yada yada yada, as you can see here. So now I'm going to go start my emulator, and we're going to run ISO. Okay, and let's see. if it works properly, which it should. I'm almost 100% sure. So we're going to skip that, continue. I already backed up my save file. OK, and we're in. <clears throat> Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so formation, and look at my character. He's a dragon. He's a holy dragon, to be precise. Now, this character model doesn't carry over into actual battle. 
Uh, the only thing that carries over is the abilities, which are breath, as you can see on the left-hand side. Uh, so the breath abilities carry over, and your your level carries over. So see up near my picture in the top left corner, it says level 34 or LV.34. Um, the characters, the, the random jobs you put in uh, level up based upon your main level. So obviously you can't learn new abilities for the dragon because it's it's not a, not a class in the game. So whatever level you are dep depends on how strong, um, or whatever level you are dictates how strong your breath abilities will be or whatever attack you have will be. So that's how that works. So as you can see, it works like my black chocobo. Loving it. Badass chocobo, actually. That chocoball attack is the bomb. But, um, but yeah, so as you can see, it works. That's one way of looking at things. Now, I'm not going to use that because I don't really like that. I have the game set up how I want. And we're going to exit. I'm going to turn this biatch off. All you need to do is uncheck mark it and just close it out. We're going to use Cheat Engine, which is my... I love Cheat Engine. I absolutely love it. You do so much with it. You can mess with so much, and it's the most fun thing ever, I'd say. And no, I'm, they're not sponsoring me. How I wish. But either way, not that they have the money to sponsor anyone anyway. Um, so, looking at the list here, let me explain how Cheat Engine works. Once you have Cheat Engine, I think the latest is Cheat Engine 6.4. I'm not 100% sure. Again, Google is your best friend. Um, let me skip this nonsense. Even though it is a super cool video. Not really. Graphics look like shite. But again, it is like 10 years old. Maybe, maybe more. Um, let me load my file. I wouldn't recommend modding your level or hacking your level because the game uh, levels up with you so to speak so if I'm level 99 and no one in my else in my party is level 99 essentially every encounter with any random battle or any enemy is going to be equal to my level so I learned it the hard way I actually leveled myself up in the very beginning to level 34 and uh, and I got screwed because my entire party was like level 9 it works in, in Final Fantasy Tactics for the uh, Game Boy Advanced, where you can max your level out and no one else's level will match, and it doesn't matter, and you can be the most badass single player in the game. But um, that doesn't work for Final Fantasy Tactics for PlayStation 1. All right, so in Cheat Engine, you just simply select the uh, process, as you see in the top top right left the corner of Cheat Engine window. Select the process. This searches the actual uh, running file of the executable that uh, you're running. We're going to use the EPSXE uh, executable. Double click. Now the value, you're, that's where you'll put the number in of what you're trying to, uh, what you're trying to uh, hack, so to speak. In our case, we're going to pick someone. One second. So learn. Let's say I want her to be a badass mediator. Okay. Plus, this one's awesome too. This works out because she has points to use. Preferably, you want to have points to use so you can use it better. But I'll, I'll show you another way of doing it. Um, and this might not work for everyone. So again, Google is your best friend um, to find out how to read the code for it. But either way, so we're going to change the value type to two bytes, and that's based upon uh, the amount of, from what I read, how big the files are in the game itself. So we're going to change it to two bytes. And we're going to type in the number 130 for the JP on the right-hand side of the window. That's how much JP she has. So we're going to do our first scan. A whole bunch, 1,095 um, you know, um, things found, our addresses found. So to sum that number down, we're going to use some of it. So we'll go to Invitation, which uh, uses word skill to trick enemies to becoming an ally. Now we have 30 points left. So we're going to take this number, type in 30, next scan, and there we go. There is the number for that. We're going to change that to uh, 4,500, which is the normal for most jobs to max out. As you see, it immediately changes. You just simply change the page, and then they're all ready to, to max out. Insult. Use a word skill to upset the enemy. That's funny.
All right. And what I like to do so the game doesn't act strangely is I like to, once I've maxed out that job, I like to reduce it down to a, a, a single or, um, or tenth decimal number just to prevent it from acting strangely so the game feels like I kind of did it the old-fashioned way. I don't know. I just, it's preference. But either way, so mediator, mediator is now mastered for this person. And that gives me the ability to set abilities from Mediator. So, talk skill. Mediator job command manipulates enemies with smooth talking. That's so how that works. I don't even know what the hell she just had. I think it was item. But either way, um, that's how you do it. And that would conclude this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. I appreciate the support. Thank you so much, and you guys and gals, enjoy the rest of your day.